Are the experts really experts? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hello everyone, this is Semi-Retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. You might be wondering what you're watching here. Well, normally you're watching me walk, but today you're watching me cut my grass. What's important about this that makes it interesting is that just under 24 months ago, I could not do this. I could barely stand for a couple of minutes without severe pain. Now, as you can see, I'm out here cutting my own grass, working on all my own yard work, going for walks every day, doing lots of different things. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. I'm glad you're here as well. It means a lot to me that you spend just a few moments of your day with me. So why don't you all help me out just a little bit here. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Drop down in the comments and say hi Bob. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. All of these things help me get the word out that it's never too late to change your life. I'm almost 61 years old. And I'm doing things now that I could not do when I was 40. Like cutting my own grass. And going for a walk every day. But let's go ahead and talk about this. I'm sure we have all seen Dr. Barry's video about the American... Diabetes Association, and Dave Mack did one just yesterday as well. And I think it's important that we talk about this, because part of what I was following prior to my heart surgery was the American Diabetes Association recommended diet, combined with the recommendations of gout diet. And all that did was lead me to a triple bypass surgery about six and a half years ago. Does, does the, you know, is the Diabetes Association really interested in helping diabetics control their diabetes? Or are they interested in helping the food and drug companies maintain their diabetes at just the right level so that they will be customers for years. I don't know the answer to that question, but it seems, if you look at it on the surface, it seems that they are more interested in keeping customers than they are in helping diabetics control or even eliminate their type 2 diabetes. I had an A1C of 10.3 when I was diagnosed. Now my A1C is 4.8. And all I had to do was switch to a very low carb, almost zero carb diet. I follow the carnivore diet, but you don't necessarily have to go to that extreme. Perhaps you're one of these people that can get by with a few carbs per day. Understanding that there are, I forget what the numbers were, but there were a shocking number of people that in this country alone, the United States, have either pre-diabetes or diabetes. And I know... We're not quite 50% mark of obese, but it's getting there. And at the current increase, it's not going to be very many years before half of our population is obese and sick. And what were the numbers they were saying? Like, I don't even remember. Sorry, I can't remember the numbers, but an astonishing number of people 
that were not only obese, but were type 2 diabetics. And you would think that with all of the money that gets donated to the Diabetes Association, that they could do a better job of controlling the population's diabetes. But we have to ask ourselves, are they interested in controlling the diabetes or not? This is an interesting point in the mowing video here. I'm not going to, I'm going to speed it up here in just a second as soon as I'm done talking. Um, but you can see this little hill on the side of my house. Last year, I came down the other direction so I wouldn't have to push the mower up this hill. But I know it doesn't look that steep in the video, but it is quite steep. And here in just a moment, there we go. You can see I still slowed down a little bit, but I wanted to make this a harder exercise than just cutting the grass. So I went, I'm going the opposite way around the yard this year to make mowing the grass just a little bit harder. So I'm going to be pushing the mower up that hill instead of letting it go down that hill. But we have other things to talk about today too. You know, it is Saturday, so it's time for weekly wins. Don't forget to drop down in the comments and tell me what your win is for the week. There's my truck and my trailer. I'm going to start working on the, the trailer setup and everything to go to Texas because summer will be over before we know it. I know it seems like it's not even spring yet, barely, but it's it, time just moves way too fast these days. But I'm going to start doing some work on the trailer and start start the loading process here as soon as it's not going to get cold overnight. It is very cold here today. It was about 65 degrees when I did this recording for the, the mowing, but today it's only about 45 outside. It's supposed to be really kind of cold the next couple of days. So I have a couple of special videos. This is the first time I've ever done a voiceover, so hopefully this comes out okay. But yeah, let me know what your weekly win is. My weekly win is I got out in this brief period of sunshine and got the yard mode. I did not take a picture of it, but and you can see my yard isn't really terrible. But because many of the yards around me were so shaggy already, I was afraid with the next five or six days being first cold and rainy, then brief periods of sun, then cold and rainy and brief periods of sun, that my yard was going to get way too out of control. So I went ahead and took care of it in this brief little break. My neighbor next door that you see me approaching his yard there, his isn't too bad yet either, but I never got any pictures of not the yard on the other side of me, but the yard two doors up is already really shaggy and it's going to be almost knee deep in another week if it's another week before we can get out there to mow so they're probably going to run into trouble getting their yard cut there I go up that hill again and I think it's important to see that there is actually work being done that I'm not just taking a short walk down the block and saying I'm doing things I think it's important to occasionally show you that there is work being done that I am actually out there doing things that I could not do before. Now I think I've probably talked long enough, so let me go ahead and speed this video up and we'll cue the music and I'll talk to you here in just a moment.
I guess the whole point is to decide if the Diabetes Association is for diabetes or against it. And I'll leave that for you to decide. Don't forget it's Weekly Wins. Get down in the comments and tell me what your weekly win is. Mine, of course, is getting the grass cut. That's what I've got for you today, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video. Don't forget, get out there, be 1% better. Today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you in the next one.